Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sam C here, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And I am super excited to be recording this right now because we just finished Stone Tower Temple. It is a new day as of recording this. If that wasn't obvious enough, I wasn't going to keep going after that. Um, but yeah, it's a new day with new energy. And we are going to not go to where I was going. I need to cash in the stray fairies because I didn't do that. So, this reward would be useful if it wasn't in Stone Tower, but it is, so, like, this is a useful reward at a very useless time. It's like Star Storm Omega in Earthbound, you get that right at the end and you don't even have a chance to use it, really. Oh, compassionate young one, I'm the great... Is that the great fairy of compassion? I don't know. That same so also branch of the fairy sword. Got the great fairy sword. It's the most powerful of all blades. Come to see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. So, the original Kokiri sword does one damage. The razor sword does two damage. Gilded Sword does 3 damage, and the Great Fairy Sword does 4 damage. However, you can see on my B button that I still have the Gilded Sword. That's because the, the Great Fairy Sword, to balance it, they made it an equipable item. Which I'm actually getting... Well, I need my arrows. Shoot, I didn't do that. I wanted this. And then... Yeah. And now we have ultimate power, basically. On my Y button. Which is great. Now let's go do what I was actually gonna do. I need the Zora mask. And we've been swimming in this river for a long time to, you know, get around places. But... We never actually saw what was in this cave here, and that's because you needed to complete Stone Tower Temple in order to do everything that's in here. So we go in here. Secret Shrine. You can't even enter without light arrows. gonna put on my bunny hood again, since you don't really need transformation masks. On the outside of the Kana, there are still swarms of wandering spirits with lingering regrets. The ones in this room want to meet you again and have been waiting here for quite a while. Go see them if you feel like it. I'm sure they'll welcome you. Well, that doesn't sound threatening at all. Yeah, I've done this secret shrine before, and I thought this rope was in here, and I'm right, and I'm so disappointed that I'm right. I can get him, dude. Shoot, dude. I want to hit you with my sword. Alright. Look at that. One hit. I didn't hit him before that point. Because jump slashes do two, do two damage, that means I did eight damage in one hit. I killed him in two hits. Again, this is like... The Great Fairy Sword is a great reward, but it's given to you way too late. 
I'm pretty sure this is actually going to be the second to last episode. And you could technically do... Um, if you do some... Well, I don't think you have to do any type of... Well, no, you have to skip getting the light arrows. Like, you can do the hookshot trick on the trees that I did to get the arrow statue early. Um... But with that trick, um, you can get here and do Akana before Great Bay. But if you're going completely, like, without exploits, then Stone Tower is the last dungeon you have to do. Which sucks, because the Great Fire Sword is such a good reward. In fact, for this Let's Play, I was actually considering doing Stone Tower before Great Bay just for the Great Fairy Sword. I was, like... Yeah, I was considering that. Anyways, this boss again is going to be absolutely I'm pretty sure I can hit him with this great sword. I can! The Gilded Sword can do that. But the Great Fairy Sword is so, is so long that you can just slash his eye. I needed to do a vertical slash. I was holding a DL. Bam, bam, I got him. Alright. They're so groupy. Just the two sides left. Okay, didn't want to do that. I was holding ZR. There's a special... Yeah, you can crouch, and then if you're holding ZL and ZR, you can do this cool little, um, shield, uh, sword shield. Which is cool. Not as, not effective as you saw, but cool. even aiming for that. Oh wait, I can just hit him and they die. I don't even need to jump slash. It's that powerful. And now, I have cleared all the rooms. 
hear your amazing person link. Seems you somehow managed to heal their souls. Maybe I shall furnish myself. Well then, hee hee hee. Yee hee hee. And it's a golden chest. I was on this side. And 19 hearts. arrows anymore, I can just talk around. I'm gonna uninvert time, so time will be moving faster. Then I'm gonna do a song of double time to um, 6 p.m. Well, no. I might as well just song soaring, because cafe's door is already open. back from the laundry pool, which means Cafe has opened his door. Yeah. We have viewed this cutscene three times now. Time travel. So here's the thing. You to trigger the um the guy coming in here, you only need to talk to Cafe. You do not need to deliver the pendant to Angie. So, I think you know what that means. We're not delivering the pendant to Angie. Obviously, he opens. Uh, the curiosity shop guy opens the door. That. Like, 10. To have the mail be delivered? I wonder if I can go there in there at 6. Like 6 p.m. You know what? No, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna wait here like a good, good boy, basically. Um. Open the door. Open the door. Yes, because this is what being a good boy is apparently. Wait a minute, can I actually go backwards with this? Yes, I can. Can I do this with the first one? Yes. But the get the right here is for the... I mean, I need to move position myself.
hoping to one day I'll clip into the door. I know it's possible. Wait, can I go back or something? Oh, I totally can. Hold up, hold up a minute. Okay. We need to get like the perfect position. Wait, if I like I can go through all infinitely, yay! Because the ink will never fall off the thing. So I could just hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah! Oh shoot. I also like to hold the Let's see. Yeah, for some reason like the controls are weird, so up makes you turn to the right and down makes you turn to the left. Right makes you go up and left makes you go down. Never knew that about the camera angles. <laughs> so, like, what if I just do this? Again, I could fast forward time to 6 p.m., but I don't know when he closes the door, so I'm just gonna wait till 1. <laughs> Yep, this is this is what I get to do. This is my reward for suffering through some kind of temple stickers. Look at this, look at this stuff. Look at that, I'm just wave dashing with the great fairy sword here. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. What about a... What about a... Oh, look at that clip through the torch. Did you see that? Wait a minute. I want to see if I can work it out. Yeah! Look at that. True power adds finest for me. Can I do that? Wait, wait, wait. Can I do the bullet sword? Yes, I can. Oh wait, no, no, I don't, um... Oh yeah, you can also, like, push this frog, too. Again, we're just waiting till one o'clock. Yeah, look at that guy, he's in the, in the water now. <laughs> it's still locked. Oh, I can't go on right there. Oh, I can't charge because I don't have magic. Yeah, no, that's what we're supposed to do. Whatever, you, so you have to do the second thing. Great pair, so. Alright. I'm done messing around. Also, in this universe, he just keeps the kitten mask.
time to go deliver this for real now. Well, we did it before, but we did it through the postman, so. Yeah. We're doing this for a piece of glass. Okay. A piece of glass filled with milk from cows who ate grass. Searching for cafe. How is it? Have you found it? Oh dear, priority mail? This. It's from cafe, correct? Wonderful, you really are an expert. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, my thanks. Yes, it is your job, after all. Chateau Romani. Drink it to replenish your magic power. The drink even boosts your magic stamina. Swirl it around with your tongue to enjoy the flavor to its fullest. It gives you infinite magic. Sorry, at this point in time, I can only give you something like this. Actually, I wanted to give this to you real sooner. Really? Alright, now I have to bring the Ocarina back. Move the... And also the thing. I already have five fairies, so Oh yeah, I don't need the deck of flower, I can just jump up here as regularly. Actually before I do that. Bottoms up. Bam. Blue magic bar. Empty bottle. Actually, you know what? If I'm gonna min max link, I'm gonna min max link. I'm gonna get another fairy. Just for the hell of it. That the little jingle scared me because uh, I didn't think about the fact that this is where I'm supposed to play that. So now I Now I can manage my inventory properly. Um. Yeah, this is what I want. So this feels uh quite uh, nostalgic here. Well, so not only for like you know purposes of the plot. Also, this is being recorded on June tenth. And the very first episode was recorded in February. Yeah, so this has been kind of an off and on project. Like, I do it, and then I would take a huge break, and then I'd come back to it, and then, you know, stuff like that. Um, and. I thought that this entire Let's Play would be done in February, and I was wrong. It's June now. So yeah, you know. Brings back memories of uh, four months ago when I first stood up here in the second episode and 
you know, I'm gonna let's play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And it should be easy, you know, I play this game a bunch. And, you know, community and background, this game's great, you know, randomizer's amazing. And little did I know, the journey I would go on for the next four months. Um, yeah, so this is obviously the, the main mechanic from Majora's Mask, is it's cycles, right? You live through the same three days in the Groundhog's Day type system. And I originally wanted to be done with this in four cycles. I have lost count of how many cycles we went through. We went through so much. I was so foolish to think that we would get through this in like four cycles. And four cycles was like my maximum. I was sure that I could do it in three. Which is bonkers, you know, when we consider how many cycles it took. Like, I haven't even counted, it's probably insane. But yeah, um... I, um, I've always collected all 24 masks so when I played through this game, and, um, and that's about it. Um, I got the stray fairies, like, for, like, Woodfall and Snowhead, and then didn't really care to do the stray fairies past that. And... You know. Um, so... Because, you know, the rewards weren't useful. And I haven't gotten all the heart pieces. I've gotten... Like, I haven't gotten close to 20 before. But it's kind of a situation of, you know, I've played this game so much that I'd get, you know some heart pieces one playthrough, and then when I do my next playthrough, I get a completely different set of heart pieces. So I've actually collected most of them, but not in one full complete run. And I've gotten all 19 hearts here. Every single one. And now I, uh, 12. So. Ocean, canyon, hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. That's it, I won't let things go the way you expect them to. Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it.
be silent while I'm doing the scene, but he literally stood on thin air. Like, I can't even. It stopped. We did it, it stopped. Sis. Fail. Good, we made it in time. The giant's call worked on the stuff, Skull Kid. Hey, Skull Kid, do you realize what we've been doing to everyone? Wait, Sis, don't be so hard on the Skull Kid. Tail, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad at hitting you so much? He was lonely, the Skull Kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. It's not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that. The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. It's because he doesn't know his place. On top of having a weak will and no strength of heart, he's a fool! Certainly. He had too many weaknesses to use my power. Yeah, that's right. Admit your stupidity. Huh? A puppet that can no longer be used as mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. That can't be, then that moon. I shall consume. Consume. Consume everything. Wow, this isn't good. Let's go back. Hurry. The song of time. The song of time. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding. Don't tell me you're going up there. I won't do it. You go by yourself. I'm staying here with Tail. I'll go. What? What are you saying, Tail? Is there something wrong with you? I don't always... I don't always want to be running away. If I, if I had been stronger, the school kid wouldn't have. I understand. I'll go. After all this time, Tail, you've really gone stubborn. Just like someone else, I know. You know, you guys are really stupid. Did you really think this is going to be the final episode after I gave that speech? Hell no. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we finish what we started. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe. I almost forgot about that.